this bone is called femur and the longest bone of the human body the anatomical position of this bone this round shaped head always should be upward and medially and the convex shaft should be anteriorly so the head directed left so it is the right sided femur it has three parts the upper part this is medial and this is lower part upper part contains head and neck medial long shaft and in lower part there is two condyle lat medially medial condyle and laterally lateral condyle we have lateral epicondyle and this is medial epicondyle this is structure is called greater trochanter and this is lesser trochanter posteriorly in between greater trochanter and lesser trochanter this is called intertrochanteric crest and anteriorly this line is called intertrochanteric line this fossa near greater trochanter is called trochanteric fossa and now the muscle attachment of this bone here the muscle present gluteal minimus here gluteal medium medius and this is gluteal tubercity and here the muscle is gluteal maximus in upper head this is called cobia capitis here the muscle present vastus intermedialis this is vastus medialis and in lateral side this is vastus lateralis in posterior view this rough line is called linea aspera below the linea aspera this surface is called popliteal surface and in between um, lateral lateral medial condyle and lateral condyle there is intercondylar notch this is intercondylar notch medially here present adductor tubercle this is um, upper part upper part this is adductor brevis in near trochanteric fossa the muscle present obturator externus in between greater trochanter and lesser trochanter there there is a muscle present this muscle is called quadriceps femoris and upper the quadriceps femoris they have three muscle present obturator gamela superior and gamela inferior so the length of this femur bone um, approximately 45 cm so this is all about femur bone